in uh, kufar countries and paying taxes. For example, if this country is uh, openly selling uh, weapons to the uh, enemies of Islam, and if we have, for example, evidence that these countries are in open war with Islam, uh, with these weapons that are killing our brothers and sisters, if we have evidence for this, and we're living in these countries, uh, should we avoid our best uh, not to pay taxes when we know that these taxes is going uh, to these weapons and then these weapons are going against our brothers brothers and sisters in Islam. So I, I, I wonder, because I heard different arguments. Some no, Samir, say that, Samir, you know, stay on the line. Listen to me. I, I hope you can hear me. Can you hear me first? Yes, I can hear okay. you clear. Barakallah. If a country is like what you said, is in war with Islam, then that's called Daru Harb, and it is not permissible for a Muslim to live in Daru Harb. This is to begin with, okay? No. So if you're certain that a country is uh, giving weapons to those who are fighting you and uh, assisting them financially, economically, militarily, by any means, so they are Daru Harb, and there is a general consensus among Muslim scholars, it's not permissible for a Muslim to live in Daru Harb. Go, find out another place. But generally speaking, about taxes in the West or in the East, as a matter of fact, in Muslim countries, they impose taxes unfairly, unjustified taxes on the citizens more than many of the non-Muslim countries. I lived here and there, and I can give you examples. So these extreme taxes are not halal anyway, okay? They are blackmailing, but in any case, Am I capable to skip that legally, by law, saying, well, I invested this on my vacation, I donated that much, so by the end I only have a little bit to pay of taxes. Legally, you have an accountant who would keep the books and tell you what you do. Then it's legal, if it is legal, it's okay. The President of the United States, the multi-billionaire, his taxes were 750 bucks the one who owns buildings worth billions of dollars. And when he was blamed for that, he refused to show his uh, books. He said, well, I use the law. I utilize the law. Okay, I'm gonna utilize the law as well. So I would not do anything that is haram. I would not do anything that is illegal, not to put yourself in a situation where you end up behind bars. No one wants to see you behind bars or hurt yourself or hurt your family.